it is Nottingham Forest nil, Manchester United one, Manchester United burning down the forest, baby. Yes, the branches and the bushes was getting cut down and axed down today in Nottingham Forest. But I have to say, before I even try and be shameless, because I am shameless. We played rubbish. We were shit. We was pants. We was doo doo throughout the whole game. It's just a, a late goal by Manchester United by the shit of luck of Casemiro's head. And that same head where he bust his head is where he scored from and bust his head there again. Big up to Casemiro for showing us a little bit of this. Showing Mark Rashford what this means. It's in the head, it's in the mind. Rashford, this was your celebration. It is now. Casemiro celebration. Casemiro saving our asses for today. Whew. Because boy, oh boy, I did not want to go extra time. But I know you guys as well did not want to go extra time in that game. Because it was going to be a long night. Uh, we didn't want that. But Manchester United got it done within 90 minutes. Well, it ended up 99 minutes with added time. So yeah, it is what it is. Well, first of all, I have to say, because before, let's reflect. Because that game, the first 45 minutes, guys. United, I know we have injuries, but there's no excuses. United was so poor, was piss poor. In the first 30 minutes, yes, we did create some chances, which I understand. I saw the opportunity with Marcus Rashford, Sky, it, Bruno, a little half chances there. Decent creativity, decent at times when it came to those opportunities that was, I said again, I said decent chances. There was some good little bit of good build-up play. But apart from that, they were rubbish. They were rubbish in the first 45 minutes. You know, I thought to myself, how, how are we struggling? This is where we come from. Look at Manchester United. Big, bad Manchester United. You are struggling against the Forest of Nottingham. You know, they are play, fighting relegation battle. And we're still struggling against them. Unable to create much in the first 45 minutes. And then I just think to myself, the coaching must be really bad. The set pieces were bad. We don't even have a set piece coach anymore. Eric Ramsey has left. Thank God he's gone because he was useless as a set piece coach, guys. And then, second half now. It's half time. Nil nil. Boring as hell. You probably wanted to go to sleep. Even I did. I even had dinner while the match was going on because I had my night weren't cooking shit. And if there was a one or two cook for me, I'll be starving. Yep. Because it won't be tasteful and good for. It won't be even. Ready in time because we can't cook to save shit. But yes, guys, second half Manchester United go at it in the second half in the same manner as they did in the first half. And again, struggling. And at times, Nottingham Forest were the one that was coming on strong. Andre Onana himself saving chances. A few couple of chances he had to save. We was lucky at times not to concede a goal because Nottingham Forest was coming a bit strong. Coming on strong as well. So, as we go into the dying seconds of the second half, a set piece comes along. Bruno Fernandes getting ready to take it because he's been playing shit the whole entire game. He's been trash. Bruno Fernandes gets ready, takes the set piece, corner, set piece free kick. He takes it, rifles it in. Lovely set piece. And guess who it is? It hits the head of Casemiro. That same tempo that last week he got knocked the hell out of and ended up getting a concussion a little bit with bleeding yes and it bled again casimir with a lovely header lovely diving header to get the ball in the back of the net and i know there was VAL, but screw you VAL. you couldn't do anything because it was varchester united it was varchester united that rise today and got us to win of course, you couldn't get rid of that goal for us. But big up Casemiro that showed Marcus Rashford. It is in the mind. Thank God, Rashford. Because Rashford, you've been playing rubbish. 1-0 to Manchester United in that dying seconds. And we still ended up winning 1-0 full time. Good win in terms of the result. We advance into the next round of the FA Cup. Which we will be facing Liverpool. <sighs> but guys, oh guys, let me talk to you about the players. Because I'm looking at Marcus Rashford and I'm thinking, Trashford, I've had enough of you just like I said last week. I've had enough of you the week before and the week before that. Many matches before that. For 100 matches before that. Boy, I don't know what's going on with you. We've been reading that Marcus Rashford, Trashford, Rash Bandicoot has 
had issues with the manager. And this is true, and we've read that all, a lot of players have issues with the, with the manager, the way he treats them. It's the same players that we've been going through for the last couple of seasons have managers with previous managers. So, bun them. Bun Rashford too, man. It better not be true. You're shit today. Bruno Fernandes, another garbage performance. Yes, he may have got the assist from the set piece free kick, but apart from that, he was garage. Amrabat, <laughs> return him. Return him, seriously. No, no, return him. Take him back to Italy. Go back to Ferentino. Get ass out of here. But Tomine, you see, if he doesn't offer goals, he don't offer nothing. And he offered nothing in this game. Casemiro is the one that scored the goal. And the defense, Rafael Varane, Dalo as well, they were all right. Onana had a good game. He saved us a couple of times. Man, match today, guys, has to go to Casemiro for the goal that he scored. They had a crucial goal. Otherwise, we won't be winning. We won't be in the situation here as well. And I don't know why I have my timer on for that long. No one told me. But as I was saying, guys, donkey of the match as well has to go to Marcus Rashford because he was shit. He was absolutely shit. <sighs> I'm tired of him. I really am tired of Marcus Rashford, man. But anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Everyone Spice. Let me know who was your donkey of the match and your man in the match as well. Let me know what's your thoughts <laughs> as well. Remember to subscribe to Red United TV, smash that like button, share it across all social media platforms. Click on that notification bell so you can be the first one to see every video that we put. And make sure you be, click on the membership to become a member and help support the channel to continue delivering you beautiful content like this. As always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it Red United and see you for the Manchester Derby. Because we're going to get us with the <laughs>